Hey art friends, welcome to today's how-to. Today we'll be learning how to draw a Mickey Mouse Halloween surprise fold. So first let's get started with our piece of paper and we're going to take this and fold this directly in half. Now that we have our piece of paper folded in half, we're going to take the top of our paper and we're going to fold this down towards the bottom. And then we're going to flip the page over again. And then again, we're going to bring the top and bring this down towards the bottom of our page. And now we should have something that's folded like this. And as we open it, we have four separate sections. So first we're gonna get started with drawing in our Mickey Mouse pumpkin. So we're gonna fold the bottom of our paper up towards the top so our page is in half. And we're gonna grab our Sharpie or marker. We're gonna start on the top line here, starting with the top of the pumpkin. So on the top here, we're gonna curve this line down and then up. Moving to the right of this, we're going to curve this line back down and then in. To the left of this now, we're going to curve this line out. And then we'll do the same thing on the right. For the stalk of the pumpkin now on the top, we're going to curve this line out on the left. And then we're going to curve this in and up on the right. Now from here on the top, we're going to close this off with a curved line from left to right, bringing that down. And then moving underneath, we're just going to curve this line back around and then up on the right. On the inside now, we're going to draw in two curved lines that come down. And now let's draw on the rest of the top of the pumpkin. So we're going to come over on the left hand side and we're going to curve this line around and then down towards the bottom. And then we're going to do the same thing on the right, arching this line around and then back down on the side. On the inside now, on the right, we're gonna curve this line in towards the bottom. And then we'll do the same thing over on the left. Moving back in towards the top, we're gonna curve a small line that arches up. And then on the left-hand side, stepping further in again, we're gonna curve another line that comes down on the left. Now let's draw our Mickey pumpkin ears. So starting on the right-hand side, we're gonna curve this line around and then in towards the top of our page. And we're gonna to continue to bring this all the way around, bringing this underneath on the right. On the inside now, we're gonna curve this line around and then up. In the middle, we're gonna curve this line around and then out. And then again, moving up on the left, we're gonna curve this line around and then back out towards the side. Now let's replicate the exact same thing on the left-hand side. So we're gonna move over on the left-hand side here, curving this line around, and then out towards the side. And now starting back on this line, we're going to continue to curve this line around and then in towards the bottom. On the bottom now, we're gonna curve this line around and then up. Moving over towards the top, we're gonna to curve this line out towards the left. And then again, one more time, moving in towards the top, we're gonna to replicate that, curving that out. Now let's draw in the rest of the pumpkin underneath. So we're gonna move over on the left-hand side, starting on this line, and we're going to continue to curve this pumpkin all the way around and then down towards the middle. And then we're gonna come over on the right-hand side, lining that up at the same height, and we'll replicate that, curving this line around, bringing that underneath, blending that together on our bottom line. Now from here, we're going to draw in the eyes. So we're gonna start on the left-hand side and we're gonna curve this line up towards the top, bringing this line around and then in. And then from this point, we're gonna curve this line up and then back down in the corner. We're gonna come over on the right-hand side now, lining that up at the same height, and we're gonna curve this line around and then in. And now on the top, we're just gonna arch this line around and back in towards the bottom. Now let's draw in the nose. So coming down in towards the middle, we're going to draw in a sideways oval for our nose. And then on the inside, on the bottom, we're just gonna curve this line over and then back up again. For the mouth now, we're going to draw in a curved line that arches down on the right. 
And we'll do the same thing over on the left. On the top now, we're going to draw in a nice big arch line, curving this line around, and then up on the right. And then now from here on the bottom, we're going to draw in another arch line, dipping that down further in the middle, bringing that up on the right. And then in the middle, stepping further in, we're gonna curve this line back around and then up. On the inside of the eye now, we're gonna curve this line around and then in towards the top. And then we'll do the same thing over on the right. Now that we have our Mickey Mouse pumpkin, we're gonna open up our surprise fold now. And now we're gonna add in the details in the middle. So first we're going to start off by closing off the top of the pumpkin on the bottom. So coming past our line, we're just gonna to continue to curve this line further in, not too much, just slightly, ending that at the same height. And now we're going to close this off with a curved line from left to right. On the top now, on the right, we're gonna curve this line around and then in. Stepping over on the inside, we're gonna replicate that, curving that line down. To the left of this, we're gonna arch this line down and then in. And then again, one more time, just making this one slightly smaller. Now let's close off the top of the pumpkin. So coming in towards the top, from the middle here, we're just gonna curve this line around and then back in towards the top. And we'll continue this as we come over. So we're gonna again, curve this line around and then in. One more time, curving this line up. Coming over on the left, we're gonna arch this line back around and then in. And then again, one last time, further over on the left. And now this way our pumpkins are closed off on the top and bottom, but when we close it over, we still just have our whole pumpkin together. So we're gonna open this back up now. And now we're going to draw in Mickey Mouse. So first, we're gonna start on the top here in the middle and we're gonna curve this line around and then down for the side of the head on the top. And then we're gonna start back on our center line coming over on the right and we're going to again curve this line around and then down. For the ears, stepping over on the right, we're gonna curve this line around and then in towards the top of our pumpkin. And then we're gonna move over on the left-hand side, replicating that, curving that back in towards the top. Let's move over on the right-hand side. Now starting back underneath here, we're gonna curve this line around and then in towards the bottom. And then as we come over on the left-hand side, we're going to again curve this line around and then back in again. Now that we've drawn in the ears, we're going to extend this line a little bit further down. So we're gonna come past our center line here, curving in the side of the head. And now from here, we're going to come down and draw in the cheek. So we're gonna curve this line out, bringing this over towards the middle. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the right, curving this out, and then back in towards the middle again. And then now from here for the chin, we're just gonna curve this line down, and then back up on the right, connecting that together. Now let's draw in the details of his face. So starting from this corner here, we're gonna curve this line in on the side. Coming up towards the top, we're gonna to draw in a dot in the middle. And now from this dot on the right, we're going to curve this line up, bringing this down and then in towards the corner. And then we'll do the same thing on the left, curving this line around and then back down on the left-hand side. Now let's draw in the nose. So coming down towards the middle, we're going to draw in a sideways oval. And then moving in towards the top, we're going to draw in a smaller sideways oval for the highlight of the nose. Now coming up for the bottom of the eyes, we're going to draw in a curved line from left to right. And now from here, we're gonna draw in the eyes. So on the inside, we're going to arch this line up back down on the right, creating a nice big oval. And then we'll move over on the left-hand side, replicating that, curving this line around, and then back in towards the bottom. Stepping over towards the inside now, we're going to curve this line around and then in. And then we'll line this up at the same height on the left-hand side and replicate that again. And now from here in the corner, we're going to draw in a circle 
for the highlight of the eye. Now let's come underneath and draw in the mouth. So on the right hand side, coming further up, we're just going to draw in a curved line from left to right. And then we'll move over on the left and replicate that. We're gonna close this off on the top now with a curved line from left to right. And then on the bottom, we're just going to draw in a nice big arch line, curving that back up on the right. Now in the middle for the tongue, we're gonna to curve this line over. And then to the right of that, we're gonna curve this line across again. Now let's draw in the body. So we're gonna come further over on the left-hand side, curving this line down and then in. We're gonna move over on the right, replicating that again. We're gonna close off the shorts now. So we're gonna curve this line down on the right. Coming over on the left, we're going to draw in half an oval, curving that up on the right. And then we'll do the same thing on the right-hand side, arching that up and then back down on the side. Now let's draw in his arms. So coming over on the right-hand side underneath the chin, we're gonna curve this line out. We'll do the same thing moving down on the bottom, ending that at the same height. Now from here, we're going to draw in a curved line from top to bottom, extending that slightly past. And then we're gonna curve this line out on both sides. And then we're gonna arch this line back down. Let's replicate this over on the left. So lining this up at the same height, we're just gonna curve this line over towards the side. And then moving down, let's replicate that again. We're gonna extend that curved line down towards the bottom. On the top and bottom, we're gonna curve this line out. And then from that point, we're just gonna arch this line back across. Now let's draw in our hands. So we're gonna start with the top of the palm, curving this line out. Now from here for the thumb, let's arch this line up and then back in. Now from here, we're just going to draw in a small curved line that arches out. For the first finger, we're gonna curve this line around and then in. Moving down in towards the middle, let's replicate that, curving this line around and then in. And then again, one last time, we're gonna curve this line around and then up. And then closing off the hand, we're just gonna curve this line back in towards the top. Now that we've finished drawing in Mickey Mouse, we're going to come in now and draw in some candy. So we're gonna come up above our right hand and we're going to draw in a circle. For the stripes, we're just going to draw two curved diagonal lines in the middle. On the top, we're going to bring a diagonal line that comes out on both sides. And then now from here, we're going to draw in a zigzag pattern as we come down and then back in on the bottom. Let's move up above now and draw in a lollipop. So underneath this line here on the top, making sure we don't extend it past, we're just going to draw in a small circle. And now in the middle, we're going to draw in two curved lines, arching that over. Now for the stick, we're going to draw in two diagonal lines that come out. And then we're gonna close that off on the bottom with a straight line. Let's move over on the left now above our left hand and we're going to draw in another circle. We're going to draw in a diagonal line that comes out on the top and the side. And then again, we're gonna zigzag pattern this down. And then again, we're gonna close this off with another diagonal line on the bottom. Lastly, on the top, we're gonna to come over and draw in a nice big rectangle, just curving the edges. In the middle, we're going to draw in two diagonal lines, leaving an even amount of space as we come across. And then now from here, we're going to draw in two diagonal lines on the top as well as on the bottom. And then we're just gonna connect that together with a zigzag pattern, bringing that out and then in. Now that we have drawn in our surprise fold, we're going to go ahead and color it.
and that is it that's how you draw and color a mickey mouse halloween surprise fold you can pause the video and color it the way that i have done or you can change your colors up if you'd like if you enjoyed today's video please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel and also drop a comment below suggesting any more characters that you'd love to learn to draw next thanks so much for joining me on today's tutorial and i will see you all on the next one